What's going on, everybody? I'm DOGENG here with PokéChat. Today, we are running this live stream 110% because I checked the microphone, I figured out how to record, and apparently last week's show did record too, which I didn't know happened, so that's awesome. And what is going on with you guys? Haha, <laughs> scaring you people. Yeah, so uh, last week, if anybody missed that live cast, and uh, it is recorded so you can hear the horribleness that it actually was, I forgot to switch my USB microphone, which was this thing, my Guitar Hero microphone, wherever the logo is there, and it was all the way off to the side so you guys could barely hear me. So the whole show was recorded that way, and I wanted to ask you guys because last week was all about the 3DS and barely anybody heard me. Do you have any more questions about this little gem here? Uh, yes, comrades, I've heard of Lapis Lupus, but I don't know uh, how you find it, Lapis Luzalis. Um, it's really it's kind of hard to show you augmented reality reality games unless yeah it's really impossible with the webcam actually because pretty much all of augmented reality um, you know what I can actually show you some pictures some still pictures that I took of augmented reality of course they're not going to be in 3D but with augmented reality it's really awesome you have uh, where the AR cards are that I have you have these AR cards that Nintendo packs in with the 3DS, and with the augmented reality application that is on the system, you can point your 3DS, have the two cameras, the forward facing cameras, look at it as a focal point, and then, so if I was looking at this, some Pikmin would pop into the scene. But it's pretty cool because you can take fixture, er, pictures, pictures while you're looking at it, and you can, hold on, I'm trying to find a good augmented reality shot. It's really fun to put these cards, these character cards, especially Samus, because she has a, a missile, or not a missile, but a beam that shoots straight at the screen. Oh, I take so many pictures. But it's really fun to mess with augmented reality and pets. It's really hilarious to just put things on your pet's head. Put Mario walking around your pet. Man, I've got so many freaking pictures. Oh, so here's one. Let's see if we could get a good... That is Pikmin calling up my coffee cup in the morning with a pellet. Guess they're going back to the onion. They've got a long way to go if they're in my kitchen. Uh, let's see. I take so many non-augmented reality ones because, see, here's one that I was just testing 3D perspective on. And also just something to uh, maybe have for future videos as far as my idea with having Pokemon cards and the actual Pokemon pop up. That's what I was taking pictures there for. But if anybody has a good imaging site, PM me where I could post my images and you guys could go get them. But I want them to be posted in MOB file or MOP, whatever the 3DS format is. So you guys could put them on your own 3DS and then... Oh, okay, now we're getting more into the re... Yep, here we go. Where is my dog with augmented reality? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's one of the lesser picture pictures, but uh, it's really kind of hard to display that on a webcam. Uh, Pokemon cards yet, but I think that they should add that they should definitely get on having uh, Pokemon cards react with 3DS. Uh, do I think Notch should put... Well, I'll ask... Um, it, let Vladimir... Uh, comrades, I'll answer this because I play Minecraft all the time. Uh, I think it would be very good if uh, the Minecraft was on 3DS because I tell you, I've been messing around with this thing and the 3D, it is so cool. You know, I can only imagine like the dungeon or labyrinth, whatever you want to technically call it, that we randomly found under my home. Imagine seeing that in 3D. Imagine seeing the depth of the skeletons as they shoot up the arrows at you. It would be intense. 
And it would be really funny if they had arrows coming a little out of the screen and then more right back in, just barely touching your face. I think that if Notch becomes really successful, which it looks like he's down that path, it would be very wise of him to try and head over to 3DS, just to try something new. Uh, I'm getting back to Pokemon. Right, ah, I should tell you guys why I have not been doing Pokemon in the first place. Um, first of all, Pokemon walkthroughs, they take the most time, because I try to get my facts straight, I try to have good helpful tips for when you go through the area, and it also requires some significant filming time, because I capture it off of the emulator, which, while filming, only runs at about 80%. It's playable, but it's so slow. And then that turns into a good 15 minutes of an episode. So it takes a while to film that. And this week I was moving my horses over to another farm, which later I'll probably post a um, channel update vlog kind of video at the new farm so you guys can see what I'm getting into. But it's such a nicer place. But this whole week has been hectic just packing up all of our horse supplies, all of the bridles and blankets, tons of buckets upon buckets. We have a massive metal grain bin that we had to move, and uh, it was and the place is nice, so it's all worth it. Uh, I don't know if he's going to do Conduit 2. Comrade, we have not even finished Epic Mickey yet. Uh, when the Pokemon... No, the, when it's shiny on the ranch, it just means that it's at level 100. That's all. I think that, um, yeah, I do believe that shiny Pokemon, if you put them on the ranch, you can actually see their different coloration. Yes, I remember you, Manny. Oh, you want to see if your augmented reality card will pick up? Alright. Um, do you want to do it from, like, this one or the uh, question mark block? I'll hold up the link there and get into star picks and then see if he can come off the screen. That would be an interesting test. If you're going to do it. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't work. Because I don't know what the different uh, screen quality is for your computer, but that probably meshes with the DSi cameras, the DSi, 3DS cameras. Been wanting to call it DSi this whole time, but so not. So, anything else about the 3DS before we move on? Do I play any sports? I surf. But I don't play any other team sports or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I can play DS Lite games. Because, really, um... I just had my DS cartridges around here somewhere. Oh, here's one. There's really no other cartridge in the DS Legacy besides the DS cartridge and da -da -da -da, the 3DS cartridge, which just has a little knob of plastic so you can't try and shove it into your DS Lite or any other DS and try and get it to work, because it won't anyway. It doesn't have the processing power or the 3D screens. Uh, that was Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, Explorers of Darkness. But it was fun when I did. Sadly too repetitive from the original, though, I thought. Didn't really hold my attention. She goes... So, yeah, about the DS games, there are no other cartridges besides that. But that wraps it up for 3DS, so let's move on to something else. I got to try this week the Pokeshifter. Man, the Pokeshifter, that is fun. I think it's really addicting. At first, I thought it was going to be very annoying to transfer all my hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon out of my DS cartridges, but now it's like I'm addicted to it. I feel like it's uh, a kind of slot machine. Uh, first of all, I really liked the overlay of it. The overlay, the background, it looks like you're playing on a Pokemon Mini, which I have my Pokemon Mini around here somewhere. It was in one of my recent update videos, but I love that thing. I still play it today. So 
So I thought that it was very cool that they decorated it in a way that it looked like, not only is it just a mini-game, but it's Pokemon Mini, sort of. An unlocked colorful version that you never played when you were younger. So I like that, and the mechanics of pulling your Pokemon, I don't mind using my touch screen as much, as funny as that sounds, on my DSi now, now that I have the 3DS. Really, when it comes to any touch screen based game, I'm kind of sensitive about playing it, kind of like Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks. Like, I got Phantom Hourglass, and I skipped Spirit Tracks because I knew it would be the same thing. The fact that I'll start off and I'll enjoy it, but just screeching that stylus around to do all sorts of moves and destroying the screen like that, I hate doing that. Uh, yes, I did use the Global Link, too. The Global Link was pretty cool. I only got to use it once, but it seems interesting. It's pretty functional, and I'm trying to see, does anybody know if that will work for restoring Black City or White Forest? I know that you have to go into the Entra link, but I think, yeah, I think you're, pre I'm pretty sure that you have to link up to somebody else, but I think that is extremely limited. I mean, who here has gone to their Black or White City, or Forest, Black, mixing it, Black City, White Forest, and it's completely empty. So that's what mine is. Because you go to the Entra link every time you go to the Dream World to pick up your Pokemon. So I'm wondering if that sort of counts as going there. Yeah, and it's ridiculous because if that's the case, the only way to restore that area is if you have somebody else near you with the actual game. So you have to find somebody else in your neighborhood Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, around here, I live amongst other farms, and sure, there are malls and tons and tons of developments just around the corner, but I'm not going to go randomly asking, hey, do you have Pokemon? Do you have Pokemon? I need to get in the Entra link. I need to rebuild my black city. So it's really ridiculous that you can't raise it up any other way than wireless. Uh, I don't know how to get the Minecraft music player, no, but uh, I have seen discs. I think there were, what, two discs? Green disc. Yellow, orange, I'm not sure, but I'm not, I don't know how to make a record player. Yeah, you know, that was actually something that was kind of... You know, at a time, I, I almost had to like Pokemon Underground. You know, I remember those days, people, they shun Pokemon for whatever reason. But it was funny. You know, I, I think of Underground, and now I think back then... It was more of a sneaky underground because I would, I would basically swindle people by convincing them a card that was not rare was much better than it was. So basically, they traded me the card for not just a card, but for a good story that I would spin them. Like I remember, for was it? Yeah, it was a common unknown card for a shiny Venusaur, the original hologram. That was so cool. But I do remember you had to play under the radar. Didn't seem such a, it didn't seem to be such a big deal in high school, though. Diamond, Pearl, and especially Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. It kind of reminded everybody, oh yeah, this is what we liked back then when we were kids. There's no reason to hate it now. But I think that the, um, I think the video games do a lot for the series overall. And that sometimes the anime and card game can chop it down to being just kiddie-ish, but, you know, we have weekly podcasts, weekly live casts about it, so... Obviously, there's some more mechanics that are much deeper. Um, uh, the Ninja David, you're full, chock full of Minecraft info. It's just like you are, are the one who single-handedly wrote the Minecraft Wikipedia. Yeah, I really want to record Wi-Fi battles again. It would be fun, but right now I'm buried under my own weight in walkthroughs. <laughs> I've got to finish up. I've got to just, I'm so anal about it because I've got one more episode of that Bit Trip Fate Let's Play to do, and I'm trying to do it as perfect as possible, and I keep messing up on stupid spots, but once that's done, um, you know, once, once that's completed, then we're going to get moving on to Poker Park Wii next week, and then Rumble also simultaneously.